Hi, welcome to this short introductory presentation of the sound and music computer team activities at KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, Sweden. My name is Roberto Brezin and I am the head of the SMC team. This presentation has been prepared together with my colleagues Shettil Falkenberry, Andre Holzapfel and Sandra Pauletto. We are located in the School of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science that is part of the KTH Royal Institute of Technology founded in 1827. Through the years, we have been organizing several international conferences and participating in many European projects and networks. The current SNC team has been started in 2014 by a group of researchers previously part of the Music Acoustics Group at KTH, in which they were doing research for about 15 years. The team members are 17 at the moment of recording this presentation and we are growing in size. At the moment there are 9 PhD students and more are going to join us after this summer. In the Stockholm area, our team has developed strong collaborations with the Royal College of Music, the Stockholm University of the Arts, that includes circus, dance, film, media, opera, performing arts and acting, and the University of the Arts, Crafts and Design. We consider sound and music computing as a source of innovation for a better quality of life. Our long-term vision is to understand human communication and interaction by sound and music so as to make them a natural part of everyday technology. We work towards our vision through engagement in both education and research. In this slide you can read the variety of current funding bodies. We run SMC-related courses at bachelor, master and PhD level. In this page you can find a list of our current courses offered. We would like to show you two examples of projects made by our students in our two main courses at master level. More examples can be found online. The first video shows main results of a project completed in March this year in the Sound and Interaction course. For the course Music Communication and Music Technology, we show a video summarizing student projects in collaboration with preschool children. The technology used was based on the Pela board.
This video shows student work on voice sketching in the course DT2213 Musical Communication and Music Technology at KTH during Spring 2019. Project Assignment, do a workshop with a preschool kid and find out how a future fantasy instrument should look and sound like. Then build the instrument with a bella board and present it publicly at the Swedish Museum of Performing Arts. First, workshops with student child pairs were held and recorded at the museum. A two weeks building phase followed in the middle lab at media technology and interaction design. Students could use 3D printer, laser cutter, and similar facilities. Then, all six projects were presented to the museum visitors by the children and student groups. Maya, a purple unicorn that should sound like glass marbles in a glass. This instrument should be yellow and big, played by rubbing hands, and sound like boom boom. The students added complexity with beat chopping. Called Christian Ronaldo, it is a drum sound keyboard, and without a loudspeaker, only headphones output. The Elsa drum should produce sounds that you don't decide yourself, and also play Pippi and Elsa Frost. Students enhance the experience with follow the beat like cues. The sushi piano, or I pour soy in the keyboard as the child named it, should have alternating sounds of eating sushi and drinking soy. The table should be brown and possible to eat from, with a pillow to play like scratching with your paws. Students decided against the feature of pouring soy into the piano. Behind the mysterious name is a pan flute that should not sound like a pan flute. The children were surprised and thrilled to actually get to play their instruments. Course evaluation confirms that the real world task in a public setting was successful. In terms of voice sketching, the study shows that this technique requires more training than was possible in the project work. This is an important lesson and a valuable outcome of the course. Students working on projects in our courses often complete their curriculum with a master thesis in SMC. Here we list some of the most recent ones. You can find the PDF files online of all the theses. Several theses often result in publications in international conferences and journals. For day projects, both students and researchers have access to different environments which are partly summarized by these pictures. We can work with motion capture and spatial sound, haptics, sensor technology of different kinds, 3D printers, laser cutter, knitting machines, and several other technologies. At the link at the top of this slide, you can find a video presenting our labs. The SMC research field is wide, and this is testified by the areas covered by our projects, which span from expression in sound and music to rehabilitation and training, from movement analysis to ethnomusicology. Several projects are in collaboration with researchers from the schools mentioned earlier, the Royal College of Music, the Stockholm University of the Arts, and Konstfak. You can find detailed information on all our projects at the link at the top of this page. All members of our team participate actively in several international conferences and publish in peer-reviewed journals. In this slide, you can find our most recent journal papers. For an updated list of all our most recent publications, please visit the link at the top of this page or the profile pages of the researchers in our team. Finally, we would like to briefly present our collaborations with two museums in Stockholm, the National Museum of Science and Technology and the Swedish Museum of Performing Arts. At Techniska, we present project results as well as run workshops and experiments with visitors of all ages. During particular weeks in the year, there can be some thousands of visitors per week. At the Swedish Museum of Performing Arts, we have been running a large-scale installation, but until today has been played and visited by about 75,000 people. The installation is called Sound Forest, and its first prototype has been presented at SMC Conference 2016. We are now in the process of expanding the installation and update its technology for the next five years. Apart from experiments run by our team, this installation is actively used by KTH students 
for their projects and by students of composition and music production at the Royal College of Music. In the next short video, Claudio Panariello is testing the prototype of the installation at KTH that is using exactly the same technology as the installation running at the museum. Thank you for watching. We hope to meet you in the near future.